Yes, you guys. I got my little pregnancy bottle. It comes like a little plastic wrap, a plastic film on top, so it's not just out in the open. They be acting like they own the freeway or something like, sir, sir. I saw you these stretch marks. <laughs> Asian noodle? 
I don't even know how to explain it. Look her fuck if you don't know fuck. He went to go get us some food. That sounds really good. With some egg rolls and some other stuff on the side. Right now I'm just bouncing on my ball. I got my little pregnancy ball. It's not necessarily a pregnancy ball. It's an exercise ball or a yoga ball, whatever you want to call it, but I just say pregnancy ball. I had one of these when I was pregnant with my other son. And I loved it. Yeah, that's probably what you guys see right now. You're probably like, why is she bouncing? Why is she going up and down? But yeah, it's because I'm on the wall. I'm just sitting here watching TV. I swear I'm watching TV. I just <laughs> I just paused it because um, I want to talk to you guys. And I made me some cookies. They're now burnt. Let's give it up for the non-burnt cookies. Yeah. My um appetite has kind of been all over the place. I just had a bowl of cereal, body some cookies. And then my man gonna bring back some food. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. We're not doing much. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. Today is Monday, June. Today is Monday, June 19th. Yeah, we don't have much to do today, like, at all. It's a real chill day. Like I told you guys earlier, I had just went to go tour another daycare for my son. Then we had went grocery shopping. Unfortunately, I had left the camera at the house, so that's why I didn't bring you guys with me. My arm is killing me trying to hold this camera. It is heavy. I don't know if... I really even have much going on this week, period, to be honest with you guys. I know I do have to go do some blood work on Thursday. My second trimester blood work. I have to go get that done. After that, I'm pretty much done with the blood work, is what my OB told me. My first trimester was terrible. I had to be like, deathly nauseous, okay? Like, deathly nauseous. Didn't even want to leave about the house. And I have to go out the house, one, getting car sick as hell. Two, getting poked and prodded. All up in my ears, my eyes, my mouth, my nose, my belly. Okay. I had to get draw, blood drawn like over five times my first time. I was like, it was just, it was annoying. Good morning, you guys. So, <clears throat> it's been a couple of days since I've talked to you guys. I haven't spoke to you guys since Monday. It's Thursday today. This vlog is going to kind of be all over the place. <laughs> I haven't really felt like vlogging in the past couple of days. Even Monday, I didn't really feel like vlogging. I was honestly pushing myself. It might be because, you know, my pregnancy hormones or whatever. You know, I'm just not feeling it right now. Right now, I'm just making me and my son some oatmeal for breakfast. I have to do some blood work today. Excuse my hair as well. I need to brush it. Oh my God, that's what I was supposed to do before I started recording. <laughs> I really also haven't felt like getting dressed either. That's also why I really haven't felt like vlogging. <laughs> I'm not gonna be cute. My hair is not gonna be done. Like, y'all do it, which I'm gonna get because I'm gonna give us some strawberries, some raspberries, and some blackberries. <laughs> Two people was there, 
Then they're like yelling at everybody to make an appointment and everybody has to come back after lunch. I said, fuck. It was just too much, okay? It was giving stress. It was definitely working on my anxiety. Like, the way my patient is set up, I don't have any. So, yeah, no. We're just going to try another day. Me and my son, we just woke up from a nap. Um, we didn't really do much after that. I took a shower. Um, moisturized my belly. I do want to share my little belly moisture routine with you guys. It's not much, honestly. But I want to show you guys that my son's fruit ugh, food prep had came in. It came in yesterday morning. I want to show you guys. But yeah, the way I was still stretched out about stretched out. The way I was still stressed out about my stretch marks, I didn't even I didn't even care. I have five plates left. Um, I kind of got the smaller order because I wasn't sure if he was gonna like it or whatnot or whatever. So the next time I order, I'm definitely gonna get more plates to last him longer. He already had about three plates yesterday, but I only gave him three yesterday because I wanted to like have him try it out all day, see if he liked it. He ate everything for the most part. The only thing that he really had a problem with eating was the green peas. But other than that, he ate the majority of them. He just didn't finish them. The plastic film becomes like a big old bubble like this. So this is what it looks like. You got broccoli. I think, what are these? Cauliflower balls? And then whole wheat penne. So whole wheat pasta. So I definitely think that he likes this one better. I tried this one from yesterday. It was a little plain, but other than that, I mean, it wasn't bad.
boyfriend we've been eating out we keep saying we're gonna try to work on it and not eat out so much but honestly we ain't changed yeah as you guys seen i made some fried chicken mac and cheese and cornbread oh it was so good it was so good baby loved it i just dropped my son off to daycare another one so we're gonna see how this goes Okay, can y'all see me? I hope y'all not crooked because I think y'all was just crooked for a second. Everything seems good so far. Um, he loves it, but then again, he's a baby. You know, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure he's loved all the daycare, you know, as long as he gets to just play with other kids, like he's happy, you know. Me as a mother, I like the environment, it seems more positive, it seems more cleanly. Y'all, I'm all over this road this morning. I don't know, like, this girl cannot drive. And why does my camera look crooked? Am I crooked right now, y'all? Let me know. Whoa, it has me all over the road. Maps gets on my damn nerves sometimes. To start off the week, I'm gonna get me some McDonald's. I want a sausage McGriddle. I woke up craving that real bad. Y'all, it's getting to the point in my pregnancy where I'm starting to wake up in the middle of the night to eat, like, I can't even go the whole night, and if I do go the whole night, my stomach is growling. Like, literally, I'm starving. <laughs> and these people do not let, like to let you on the freeway. Like, you gotta really know how to drive. They be acting like they own the freeway or something. Like, sir, sir. I'm starting to get dizzy. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll let me get my dogs and I'll get back to you. Bye. <laughs> Boys, you 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 so it looked like they were having a time, a child time, okay? This boy threw a whole fit. Yeah, I'll tell him. This boy threw a whole fit when I got him. I literally had to trick him. He was playing with some toy. <laughs> and I literally tricked him and like, he handed me the toy and I like threw it over the baby gate because it had like the little play area covered. I mean, yeah, surrounded with the baby gate or whatever. So I had him like, give me the toy then I threw it on the floor and I was like, uh oh, mommy dropped it. And then I opened the um, the uh, the baby gate. I opened the baby gate and then I was like, come grab it, come grab it. And then I like snatched him up. Y'all, he had a whole thing, a whole thing. His bubbles falling out, everything. And I'm pregnant trying to carry him, okay? Like, everything seemed fine when I picked him up. So, fingers crossed, y'all, fingers crossed that he can stay at this daycare and we don't gotta do too much more switching, okay? Damn, are you gonna get off my ass? Cause I'll break check the fuck out of you. I just wanted to check back in with you guys, let you guys know how his first day went. His daycare provider pretty much said, you know, it was a good day. He used the potty on time. He used the potty like a big boy. He sat up there by himself. We didn't have no change of clothes, nothing. Like, you let us see it. The next day. Hey y'all, so I'm back from yesterday. I didn't vlog much at all yesterday. So I think I'm just gonna probably get dressed, show y'all my little belly moisture routine. That's why I came back on camera because I was like, you know what? 
they probably want to see this. I need to show them this. Like, so I'm going to show y'all how I moisturize the belly and all that good stuff. And then, yeah, I'll probably just close out this vlog because I haven't really done much, y'all. Like, I've been so boring. I told y'all yesterday that last week I was kind of just in a slump. Like, physically, it was just hard on my body last week. And mentally, I just wasn't there to vlog like that. Also, you guys, I started getting stretch marks. <laughs> Your girl never thought she would get stretch marks. I mean, okay, not like that, because I'm not saying y'all probably gonna be all like, girl, what are you talking about? You have stretch marks already. Yes, but those are like on my butt, like my thigh area, you know? And like I told y'all on my birthday vlog, I did have those like all my life, right? Okay. Oh, and if y'all could hear something, it's the fan. I have my little small fan right here. I'll be getting hot when I'm straight about the shower, okay? So this is what I'm using on my belly. I use this raw shea butter and then I just top it off with some Vaseline. Last week, probably around Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe, I had noticed that I was starting to get stretch marks. I had noticed over here on the side of my belly, which y'all, I don't even know if y'all can see on camera. They're real light. I see one stretch mark, lost it. I literally had a breakdown at like 5 in the morning. I was bawling my eyes out. I don't know, y'all. It was just like, y'all gotta understand, this is new for me, right? Like, I never got stretch marks on my stomach. My first pregnancy, like, I didn't get any stretch marks anywhere. Like, I'm also getting stretch marks, like, in between my thighs, like, on my inner thighs as well. It's just new to me, but then again, I have to remember to tell myself, Y'all, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> oh, shit. But then I also have to remember to tell myself, like, this is a different pregnancy. This is your second time being pregnant. You have way more weight on you than you did your first pregnancy. Literally, if I could find a good picture, like a full body picture, I'll insert it and show you guys. Like, I was really, really skinny my first pregnancy. I was literally all stomach. That's it. <laughs> No type of happy weight on me at all. I didn't have no butt, no thighs, no arms. Like, literally, when I moved my arms and my legs, like, you could see my bones. It looked like I didn't snap in half if I moved the wrong way. At that time, I was just going through so much. Like, so I didn't really enjoy my pregnancy. I was, like, depressed, losing weight, not eating right. Like, I was, like, on a cereal diet my entire pregnancy with my first son. Like, I put this shea butter on my belly as well as my inner thighs where the stretch marks are. But what I am grateful for, I will say, is that the stretch marks on my belly, they're not dark. You know, like they're light. So let me not do too much. So I've learned to accept it now at this point. Like, I've had to just realize there's nothing you could do. Like, you wanted to have another baby. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like I was telling my boyfriend, I was just really afraid for a postpartum. I know you guys scared how out of breath I am. It's crazy. <laughs> but I was just afraid for like my postpartum body because I knew how hard I had, had it mentally postpartum with my first son. So I was like, okay, you know, after you have a baby, you already have to adjust to your new body right after having a baby. You have to adjust to life with a newborn. Like... It's just all about adjusting when you have your baby, you know? I was like, stretch mark on top of that too, like, this is going to be hard for me mentally. So like I said, I had to just, <sighs> I had to just realize there's nothing that I could do. You know, I'm just going to have to suck it up. You know, don't let the negative affect me because at the end of the day, whatever I feel, baby feels. So, and stretch marks ain't that deep. They could have, like I said, been way worse. I've kind of upped my moisturization routine. So that's why I said I use the shea butter now with Vaseline on top. Cause girl, <laughs> we can't let these stretch marks get darker than they already are. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and I want to roll my hair too real quick. There's no special occasion or nothing. I just want to get it out of my face, y'all. I've been hot. And like, yeah, I let the curls pretty much vanish because I haven't rolled my hair in like two days. <laughs>
Persian rugs But she's from Nicaragua If I choose Persian love I'll be turning up Or oh, we wasting time Girl, don't waste my time No, Polly I don't just wanna chill With you forgot to I mean I remembered what I can't talk I remembered that I forgot to make an after to my vlog so like I said I just wanted to come on here talk to you guys for a little bit show you guys my moisture routine for my belly and um roll my hair because like I said the curls was falling out but yeah that's pretty much it my baby here with the food so I'm ready to eat um <laughs> I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are subscribed by now. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment down below. Again, keep me active because if you're not, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you here for? All that. <laughs> I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.